What's up, y'all? You're watching another Element Eval. What? What's up, y'all? Today we're going to be talking about the Vortex Diamondback 10x42 binocular. From us. <laughs> from Ursher. <laughs> Don't forget, if you like what you see in this video, be sure and subscribe below to see more awesome stuff for us at the elements. Yeah! <laughs> okay, okay. So let me start off by saying this. I really like a 10x42 binocular. It's still powerful enough to spot at long distances, but it's a wide enough field of view that you can acquire a target easily. Yeah, it's not going to be a spotter, and no, it's not going to be something that you view things up really close with, but it's a good all-around hunting binocular. So, the Vortex Diamondback 10x42. Here's the bad stuff. Bleep. To be honest, there really isn't a ton, but there are a few things I'd like to let you know. This pair of binoculars came with a semi-hard shell case that I don't even know where it's at right now. It seems like it might have been something that cost the consumer more, but I don't even use it. I don't even know where it's at right now. Another thing, Zibinoc- it is. <laughs> These binos came with this cover for the eyepieces and not one but two flappies for the front okay this one fell off pretty quick i then take this one off because you kind of look silly with just one of them on there now i don't really use these anyways they kind of get in my way and i guarantee you the first time i put both of them on there i'm going to throw my binoculars up trying to look at something and i'm going to forget to flip those down and actually, this is my biggest complaint, and it's a true flaw to these binoculars. When I pulled this off, the eyepiece ring came with it, okay? Something about the glue didn't seal well along that rubber to this metal part of the eyepiece. So, I've noticed that that one falls off. It's not something that's a big issue, and like I've said before, the Vortex warranty is great, and I know that if I took the time to send these in, they'd make it right. Now, before next season, I'll probably do a little at-home fix with a little bit of super glue or something. Just put a little bead in there, stick it down there, make sure it's good and tight on there, and I'd never have the issue again. And now for the good. For me, binoculars have always been a struggle. I don't know if my eyes are just weirdly close or weirdly far apart or whatever, but I have a really hard time making both of my eyes line up with the image that portrays through the lenses. However, on these binoculars, I am able to do it. And there seems to be a threshold there of like cheap binoculars, mid-range, and then I can finally start making them work for me, okay? And these binoculars fall right in at that mid-range price point. Now, they are a little bit more expensive than your regular cheapest binoculars, right? But you want something quality, and I think that's what you get out of these binoculars. Another thing I really like about these is they are super durable. There's a rubberized coating around the outside of them. The lenses seem to be very resistant to scratching. I've even dropped these out of a 31 foot tree stand twice and can't really see any visible scratches or issues with them at all. I drop a lot of things <laughs> out of tree stands. I'm a tree stand dropping fool. I've dropped a tree stand out of a tree stand before. Now on a side note, I really like the harness that's on these binoculars. I think you have to buy it separately. I think I got mine with the binoculars as a special promo deal. I don't really remember, but it's a really nice addition to have because they're always right here at my chest at the ready, no matter if I'm running through the Elk Mountains or if I'm in a tree stand looking for whitetails. And something I've really been able to tell about these binoculars is I think that the clarity is actually pretty high for the price point they're at. I think they're like 229 bucks or something like that at a retailer, but I feel like you're getting a pretty high-end glass for that price. I mean, I have sit on the side of canyons and spotted elk at, you know, 1,500 yards with these and been able to tell, you know, if it's a mature bull or a small bull or what have you. And then one of the things that I'd really like to stress is just the ease of use that I've had with these binos. There's always little things that make a good product great, okay? I feel like that the focus ring on the top is very easy to use. I feel like the eye relief works really well. All right, you see that thing right there, the little Vortex label? That actually is a screw in point for a tripod mount right there. So if you don't want to use these on a harness or you are setting up glassing on the edge of a canyon and really need some good stability, you can mount these to the top of a tripod. Overall, I really like these binoculars. If I ever happen to lose them, 
and it's not a warranty situation, I'll probably buy another pair. They're great for me no matter if I'm chasing elk, if I'm in the white woods, or even if I'm out birding. They just really work great. They gather light well, I'm able to see what I'm looking for, and that's what I need out of a pair of binoculars. So, if you're in the market, go give the Vortex Diamondback 10x42s a look. And while you're at it, give our other videos a look. And be sure to subscribe below. And remember, this is your element, living it.